Welcome to today's lecture on fungal pathogenesis. We will explore how fungi cause infections and interact with the immune system. Understanding this is vital for diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Let's dive into fungal biofilms, metabolic interactions, and more. Let's begin. Fungi form biofilms, complex communities of cells surrounded by a protective matrix. This enables them to stick to surfaces, resist treatments, and invade host tissues. Understanding biofilms is crucial for combating fungal infections. Fungi can use various carbon and nitrogen sources in their environment, including during infections. Conjuda albicans, for example, can switch metabolic states to adapt to different host environments. Understanding the metabolic interactions between fungi and hosts can help develop new treatments. Fungal quorum sensing is a communication system used by fungi to coordinate gene expression and regulate behaviors. It involves the production and sensing of signaling molecules called autoinducers to sense population density and activate appropriate responses. Understanding these pathways is crucial for understanding pathogenicity and controlling fungal infections. Cryptococcus neoformans is a fungus that causes severe infections in immunocompromised individuals. It evades the immune system by producing a capsule, melanin, and enzymes. Understanding its virulence can lead to targeted treatments. Conjuda albicans, a fungus normally found on surfaces, can become pathogenic and cause infections. Its ability to change forms, such as yeast or hyphae, determines its virulence. Understanding this process may help develop treatments. Aspergillus fumigatus, a common filamentous fungus, can cause invasive pulmonary aspergillosis, particularly in immunocompromised individuals. This is facilitated by the fungus' ability to modulate host immune responses and evade defenses. Fungal pathogens employ diverse strategies to evade host immune surveillance, one of which is antigenic variation. Antigenic variation refers to the ability of a pathogen to alter or switch the expression of its surface antigens, thereby evading recognition and elimination by the host immune system. Fungal species such as Histoplasma capsulatum and Trypanosoma brucei utilize this mechanism to establish chronic infections. The genetic mechanisms underlying antigenic variation involve gene rearrangements, hypermutation, and epigenetic modifications. Unraveling the molecular basis of antigenic variation in fungal pathogens can provide insights into the evolutionary arms race between host and pathogen and may identify potential targets for immune-based therapies. Toxigenic fungi produce a wide array of secondary metabolites, collectively known as fungal toxins. These toxins have diverse effects on host tissues and can contribute to the pathogenesis of fungal infections. For instance, species of Aspergillus produce aflatoxins, which are potent carcinogens, whereas Fusarium species produce mycotoxins that can cause diarrhea, vomiting, and even neurological disorders. Fungal toxins can interfere with host cell signaling pathways, disrupt cellular integrity, elicit pro-inflammatory responses, and impair immune responses. Elucidating the mechanisms of toxin production, their modes of action, and their impact on host tissues is crucial for understanding fungal pathogenesis and developing effective therapeutic interventions. In the video, we will explore the complex interactions between fungal pathogens and host cells during infection. By studying gene expression, we have gained valuable insights into host recognition, immune responses, tissue damage, and identifying new virulence factors and host factors. These discoveries pave the way for further research and the development of effective therapies. Immunosuppression, either through underlying medical conditions or medical therapies, significantly increases the risk of fungal infections. Immune-compromised individuals have impaired immune responses, making them susceptible to opportunistic fungal pathogens. Suppression of specific immune cell populations, such as neutrophils, macrophages, or T-cells, can directly affect the control of fungal infections. Furthermore, Immunosuppressive drugs, such as corticosteroids, monoclonal antibodies, and calcineurin inhibitors, can disrupt immune signaling pathways and facilitate fungal colonization and invasion. Understanding the immunological alterations associated with immunosuppression and the impact on fungal infections is essential for improving patient care and developing preventive strategies. Antifungal resistance has emerged as a significant clinical challenge, necessitating the development of new therapeutic approaches. Fungal drug transporters play a crucial role in antifungal resistance by mediating the efflux of antifungal agents from fungal cells, thereby reducing their intracellular concentrations. Efflux pumps, such as the ATP binding cassette, ABC, and major facilitator superfamily, MFS, transporters, actively pump antifungals out of the cells, rendering them less effective. Moreover, genetic mutations in these transporters can confer increased drug resistance. Understanding the structure, function, and regulation of fungal drug transporters is critical for combating antifungal resistance and designing more effective treatment strategies. 
advances in genomics have revolutionized our understanding of fungal pathogenesis. Genomic studies have facilitated the identification of virulence genes, the characterization of fungal evolution and population genetics, and the discovery of new antifungal targets. Comparative genomics, comparing the genomes of multiple fungal species, has elucidated common and unique features associated with pathogenicity. Furthermore, the analysis of fungal genome sequences has revealed metabolic pathways, regulatory networks, and the presence of horizontally acquired genes. Integrating genomics, transcriptomics, and proteomics offers unprecedented insights into the complex interactions between fungal pathogens and their hosts, paving the way for novel therapeutic interventions. In conclusion, understanding how fungal pathogens cause disease and evade immune responses is crucial for effective treatments. There is much more to learn, but together we can make progress in the field of fungal microbiology. Thank you for your attention.